Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Let's talk about how to send uh, the audio from one bus to another bus on the Behringer wing. So uh, we've always had the ability to do this. We've always been restricted to the first eight buses. So uh, Behringer has now come out with firmware 3.0 for the Behringer wing, which now lets us uh, do this on all 16 buses. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. Uh, if we go to our bus layer, select bus one, you can do this you know, on any bus. And then on the home screen here, we're gonna select your last um, tab. Okay, this is your bus sends. So again, this used to be restricted to buses one through eight. Now you can see we have one through 16 selected. So here's how this works. We're on bus one. So if I wanna send whatever is in bus one over to bus 10, okay, so I had nine on, I just turned it off. I wanna send bus one to bus 10. So I'm selected on bus one and then I'm gonna turn bus 10 on and turn that up to Unity, okay? So that's now sending everything that's in bus one, it's sending it on over to bus 10. So that's a pretty cool feature. Again, you couldn't use nine through 16. Um, it will give you a warning if you try to activate uh, bus one on bus one. It'll let you do it, but it will give you a little warning symbol saying, hey, you're about to create a loop likely and you don't wanna do that. Um, why would I wanna do this? Why would I wanna send a bus to another bus? So I'm sure there's a lot of reasons. I'm gonna give you one that I do regularly. Okay, so I use buses for wireless in-ears for my band. It's their monitor, right? It's how they listen. So I'm mixing the entire band into bus one for that musician's uh, wireless in-ears. They often also wanna hear reverb. Okay, so my reverb channel is also in a bus. So I can't do sends on fader and put reverb in their ears because it's not on a channel. So you have to go into this screen. So I would again, if my vocalist on in-ear one, bus one needed reverb, I would select bus one. I would go to this tab, tab and in my case, uh, vocal reverb is on bus six. So I would just activate, turn on bus six and turn it up to a happy level for them. And now they have reverb in their monitors. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.